those proceedings, Mr. Chris James! Jack, where's Jack? 
I'm hoping now that some of our children here today are thinking, yeah, I'd like to be a music producer, a music owner, a set designer, and create great things in their lives. At WDPS, we are organising a programme whereby people who've worked hard, solved problems, and achieved in their lives come and talk to our children to inspire them in their life choices. And already we've got signed up a self employed builder, an airline pilot, and an IT entrepreneur. I'm well aware that life is changing fast, and our children here today will probably end up doing jobs that do not even exist now. So we need to give them a set of skills that can prepare them for life. Next year, we will create a life skills challenge in school, whereby children have to gain skills, apply them, and help others in order to achieve success. An example will be a first aid module. So our little nursery children will learn in an emergency what you do. You ring 999. Now all the children will learn to do CPR. Future modules will include business enterprise, working in a team to achieve a definite goal. And we're doing all of that recently with our international primary curriculum at school. And some of you have been fortunate to be invited along to, to some of our events there. Other modules will include reading the land, being able to use the map and the compass properly, things which I think are really important. Survival skills can and cooking and staying safe. We want our children to be adaptable problem solvers who enjoy life and give to others. I'll just finish with a few quotes which I think sum up what we're striving to achieve at WDPS. Firstly, aim for the moon, because even if you miss it, you will land amongst the stars. And two of my sayings, every child will know by heart by the time they leave our school. Work hard and achieve. My favourite one is my map in life. Every Friday I give out a head to just a quick one. Winners never quit and quitters never win. I'll say that. Winners never quit and quitters never win. You've got to work hard if you believe in something and end your goals. So, enjoy the show. And most of all, enjoy and appreciate all our children who do it with us. That's very much for you today. Right, we have a man here again. I went down to West End Primary School last week just to meet all the guys and girls and everybody else involved in this little project. And uh, as I say, we sat on the table and I met uh, all of them. Um, but this man here, um, I feel as if I've known him almost all my life. It's amazing, it's really, so you get that, don't you, sometimes in life. Um, this guy here is an ex army veteran. He's also the. Um, well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna bring them on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the stage, fantastic, Mr. Ian Proud. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Um, I haven't got a great deal to say, and I really can't follow my. The word he missed was school governor, I think was what he was trying to say, but never mind. Um, I had to write it down because there's so many things that made me so proud to be part of this project. I've got to start with, who would have thought two years ago, walking into a school like this, that we would end up being on the City Hall today. The Legion was formed over 90 years ago, and is there to stand soldier to soldier, soldier to soldier, but I'll get the right words in between have gone, uh, with all those families of servicemen past and present. It has always been a great honour for the Legion to support their men and women, but when you've got the next generation supporting them, it's even a bigger thing altogether. We went out collecting poppies to Morrison's and around the streets and everywhere else we physically could. We raised £1,600 for the poppy appeal last year, and I think that deserves at least a round of applause. For that since 2001, our armed forces have lost 414 servicemen and women in Afghanistan. In front of the stage here is 72 poppies, which represents the Garden of Remembrance in West End Primary School, um, which the children wanted put in to respect the fallen from, the, from when they started the Remembrance Service. When I was doing the garden, a young, young girl came up to us and said, Hey Ian, you know, 
you've got your crosses but you forgot some. And to be honest, I wasn't 100% sure what she meant, so I asked her what she meant. Yes, we've got 72 brave heroes in our remembrance garden, but we should remember 74. What she was really trying to say is that we should also remember the two red arrows that were killed in the, the two plane crashes in that year. All it leaves me to do is say a few thank yous. First of all, I'd like to thank Mick, Helen and Emma for all the continued support as all of the staff at West End Primary School have given me over the last 12 months that we've been working on this project. Also, I would like to thank a massive back thank you to Tony and Cotton, who without them, I wouldn't be standing here today and the little ones wouldn't be on the stage. I would really like to end on an absolute huge thank you and lay a wreath on our cross, just as a mark of remembrance, to 260 absolutely fantastic little stars that are sitting behind me now. If you could just raise your hands and say a great thank you to them. Obviously, a layer wreath. Have a 30 minute, I know it's a bizarre thing, but have a 30 minute silence in the hall as our mark of respect. And then 30 seconds, sorry, 30 seconds. <laughs> I know I've been taught, but that's not got anything to do with that, mind. 30 seconds silence in the hall, and then we'll get on with the show. Thank you very much for your support, and I hope when the signal comes out, you all get out there and buy and make it number one. Thank you. We are extremely grateful to Ian, Tony Marie and Compton who have given up an enormous amount of their own time to support our school. Because of the generosity of Middlesbrough College, we have been able to record our CD which supports the, British, the Royal British Legion. 
they have further taken and edited footage of the children in school and produced a video. We are immensely proud of the children of West Denton Primary School. That's fantastic. And the only thing I need to say now, I'm just going to introduce you again. And let me tell you why, show you why, or let Tony herself show you why she's such a good friend and a good business partner to have. Okay? A lot of people know that she can sing or that she can hold a note, but not many people have actually seen her truly perform. So, Tony Marie, take it away for us. Thank you very much. Back when I was a child Before I removed all the innocence My father 